Welcome back fellow mobile gamers, today we are checking out Floyd's Sticker Squad, which is a space shooter combined with, in the developer's own words, time travel and stickers. It's pretty much as crazy and out there as it sounds, but the game did win the Indie Game Festival 2018, and so they must be doing something right, I'm guessing, so that's why we're checking it out and playing it here today. So the goal in this game is to complete every world by getting to the end of a series of missions in time before we run out of time, and the gameplay is very shoot 'em up like which I'm really enjoying. It nearly gets to a bullet hell-like experience sometimes. So the controls are very, very simple. We simply tap the screen or swipe up to move forward, then we swipe to either side to move from side to side, and we can swipe back to move backwards. Now we collect these red bubbles here to gain some more time, by the way, you can see the amount of time in the top of the screen right now we have 15 seconds left so this should be relatively easy let's make sure to get all of the gold here and there we go we should be getting pretty close to a boss monster now we attack monsters by the way automatically when we are in range of them and we can also charge up a special attack by holding down our finger and then releasing whenever a monster is in range look at this we got 2600 points and we got the S rank, and how close are we to get to the boss monster, which is what you can see in the bottom of the screen? Well, we're pretty close, actually. So let's go for one more round, zone free here, and then I think we will be able to start the boss battle. And the reason why we're so excited to get into the boss battle is that that allows us to unlock new stickers, and I'll go into that whole system later on. But we died, though. Look at that, we got hit. So this is where the time-traveling aspect of the game comes in, because when we die, we can go back in time, play with a new character alongside our past selves. Look at this, there are two of us now, and that, of course, makes us much much stronger the damage output is so much larger and you know now we can make sure to avoid the mistakes of the past we can maybe take out this dragon before it attacks us this time around there we go look at that and it actually dropped a few bubbles as well red bubbles let's pick up those we have 18 seconds left on the clock but the goal is straight ahead Let's just pick up these last things. There's gold back here for sure. And these two burgers. And there we go. We finished zone three, I believe this was, right? So now we should be ready for the boss monster. I'm really looking forward to that. So let's see if we got enough. We did indeed. Boss seven has been found. So let's see if we'll be able to defeat this one without having to replay even just a single time. It is part of the core gameplay though to do that, to go back and replay with a new character alongside our old character. But you know, maybe we'll be able to finish this one the first time around. We have 18 seconds left on the clock and here's the boss and up there is waiting a sticker pack for us. So let's get into this. There is so much awesome stuff waiting once we get back to the menu. We're gonna go upgrade this character that we're playing with right now and maybe we'll be able to get another free sticker pack, but we'll see about that. We defeated the boss here and here we go. We got a new sticker pack and some gold, but we also got a new sticker pack. So let's open that right Right now we got how many? Oh look at them, they're so shiny! So now what we can choose to do is we can choose to continue or we can go into the sticker unlocking system. And you know what guys, I think it's time to go have a look at those stickers. So let's see if we can do that right now. I accidentally continued to the next level, but maybe we can just click pause and go back here. Yes, we are sure that we want to go back to the menu because we unlock new packs. In those packs are stickers, as you already saw. And once we've collected enough stickers, we unlock a new character we can play with or a new critter that we can attack. So look at this. We're getting pretty close to finishing up this drawing up here. And now we also got a new item, Cherry. So this is four times multiplayer, multiplies your score by four. That's pretty cool. So maybe we can go pick that one up in the next level. And we got another sticker, which is the last one. So we're now just missing three stickers to finish that whole drawing there, and that's gonna unlock a new monster, I believe. So that's the uh, that's the sticker unlocking system. Look at how many stickers there are here to unlock. This UI is a bit confusing, but it has a certain charm to it. This one I remember, this was a boss monster that we defeated, and now we've unlocked it as well. That is kinda cool, look at this one. A very weird blob escaped. Blob world must defeat. So let's go back now and upgrade one of our Floyds. What about the Frog Leap Bobbles? Let's go upgrade that one, level it up. And so you guys can see we can upgrade the damage, the pushback, the fire rate, the run, the super shot damage, and the mid shot damage. Now I wanna go for fire rate, honestly. Let's upgrade that. That is gonna cost a small amount of gold, but we have a ton of gold though. Look at this. Let's upgrade the damage as well. Should be very, very useful. Let's upgrade the mid shot damage and some of the damage and maybe some of the pushback as well. Look at that, we're getting it to level 55 now and let's go have a look at one of the other ones. Maybe this one, this is the one you start out with by the way. So it might be beneficial to upgrade that one as well. Let's upgrade the fire rate, the damage. We have so much gold though, look at that. These upgrades cost nearly nothing here in the beginning. 
Uh, upgrading run costs premium currency though, that's too bad. We can upgrade the super shot damage and the mid shot damage, but mostly let's just upgrade some of the damage. It is starting to cost a bit more now though, as you guys can see, 1,500 to upgrade this one further. So maybe we should just go for upgrading this a few more times. So now with these much, much stronger Floyds or Blobs or whatever you want to call them, let's go back into World 1. We could choose to go directly to World 2, but in order to do that, we would have to buy one of the $1 in-app purchases that this game offers. And there are quite a few of those in-app purchases. Uh, we can buy this $1 inner purchase that allows us to go into World 2 directly, but we also have inner purchases that allows us to buy new sticker packs going up to around 10 US dollars. And then we have a weekly subscription, yes, a weekly subscription of 9 US dollars, making this game one of the most expensive mobile games if you really want to get that subscription. Now, the good news is that you don't need it. You don't have to buy any of the inner purchases whatsoever, but they are pushed quite heavily. And unless we buy one of them to remove the advertisements, we will be annoyed with unskippable, unskippable video ads that take 20 to 30 seconds at a time every now and again I'd say maybe every five to ten minutes or so we're gonna see one of those advertisements so the monetization is a bit on the heavy side but if you can drop a single US dollar at least the advertisements will be gone and you can enjoy the rest of the game just fine as it is and listen guys I want to make it really clear that despite this monetization this game has some of the most unique gameplay I've ever seen in any mobile game whatsoever so it's definitely still worth checking out the monetization is on the heavy side but the gameplay Play makes absolutely up for that. There's a reason why this game won the Indie Game Award that it did. It's a super fun game, it's very unique, there's nothing like it out there, and the graphics look great as well, and it's really fun to unlock new sticker packs, so it can definitely get a recommendation from my end, despite its kinda unfortunate monetization strategies. So with that said, let me know your thoughts on this game in the comment section down below, and now it's time for the mobile gaming news of the day, which is that hot on the heels of the US proposing a ban very recently on loot boxes in games that target children, Germany has now started considering a new law as well to protect children against loot boxes, but interestingly, this new proposed law would also impact rewarded video advertisements, as that would apparently be banned as well. I don't agree that reward video advertisements are bad, but maybe I'm just missing something here. But what are your thoughts on this matter though? I personally quite like video reward advertisements, as opposed to being forced to watch advertisements, which would be kind of the other alternative, but maybe that's just me. But on that note, let's round it up here, and until next time, just remember to keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.